I'm about to show you how to set yourself up for a Dry Valley speedrun to take a new village up to level 10 quickly. Wolf and I have been building a new world in hopes we can build lots of flying vehicles with less glitching. So we built a basic grasslands village and leveled it up to level 10. Then we built an airfield to build and test our planes, airships, jetpacks, and more. But we noticed we were missing a lot of build pieces, and we remembered we were required to get a level 10 village in each biome to unlock most of these. Upgrading the Dry Valley to level 10 will unlock the Majestic Manor's builds and recipes. These are a great substitute for the Lion Knight bundle that you have to spend V-Bucks to get, and some users on Reddit have made similar looking builds to that set with this set. There are six buildings, including the Grand Manor that includes a surrounding wall with courtyard and a tower. You also will unlock a lot of walls, floors, and other building pieces. We found a spot near our Grasslands Village where we could build our next village in the neighboring Dry Valley. I set up a grand chest and we filled it up with all the materials we would need to upgrade our village to level 10 quickly. Take a screenshot of this chest so you can set up your own upgrade chest. You can collect most of these materials easily in the Grasslands and Dry Valley areas without even entering a lava cave, except for the ruby. And you'll need a painful amount of rubies for the level 9 and 10 upgrades. Now we clear out our backpack as much as possible and load up the chest, then break the chest so we'll have it when we land at our new village location. After you land, rebuild the grand chest and offload all your materials. Now you're ready for upgrades and you just need the village points for each level. The two major things that will bring your score up are buildings and workstations. Rather than build a lot of smaller buildings or something custom, we decided this would be our Durburger franchise headquarters, so we set up the village marker and went to building. We don't plan to use this village for much, so we set up basic workstations like a lumber mill, crafting bench, and stone breaker, and added some furniture and lighting. All of this shot our village rating up high, and then we just grab materials from our grand chest and pop them into the village marker. If you need more village points quickly, you can just build a small fleet of grills or other workstations that you have the materials for just to get the points up, then do your upgrades and remove the workstations you don't need, but I suspect this may affect how your villagers perform their duties. Just a theory, but my own testing sure went horribly. Also, a dual level village like this one tends to create issues with your villagers accessing the full area, but we like the feel of it so we went with it. A flat village in a large area is the easiest to build and make productive, but we like a challenge. We're off to the shore for our next speedrun level 10 village, so check that out in my next video and please hit the like and subscribe if you want to see more fun videos about LEGO Fortnite. Uh...